welcome back to my channel. So I've got some exciting news. We've hit 100. We've hit 100 subscribers. I'm so excited and I'm so happy. Like I'm so grateful that you guys have supported me while I haven't been posting as much and I've been away and so on. Um, but I'm really, really thankful. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> um, it is a big thing for me. Like some people be like, oh, it's only 100 subscribers. I was like, well, it's 100. It's 100 more people that I don't know. So, or I do know. I don't know. But I just like to say thank you so much, guys, for supporting me. It means so much. Um, yeah. But anyway, so today's look, I've decided to do like a quick party look. I am celebrating my sister's 22nd birthday. Um, so I'll be heading off to that soon. But anyway, let's get into it. Pull up, like, what's up? What's up? Everything no fleek. I do it nice. Seven days a week. Like, oh my, oh my, oh my. Okay, so my hair's like this. <clears throat> because I literally just got out of the shower. But whatever, bitch, I don't fucking care. Okay. First, I'm going to prime my face with the Speckle Hydrating Moisturizing Under Makeup Primer by Laura Jella. That's how I pronounce the whole time, I think. And I'm just taking a little bit bigger than a pea. So about, about that much. And popping it all over my face. Okay, so my eyebrows are fucked. I'll just deal with them later. So, <clears throat> to conceal my eyes today, I'm going to be taking my good old MAC Studio Finish Concealer. I'm just going to take my um, Zoeva Brow Line 322 uh, brush and just pop the concealer everywhere. Then using my Beauty Blender to blend it all out. To set my concealer today, I'm just going to be taking a mix of this shade here and this shade here and running it all over my lid and then just dubbing it in place. Next with my Zoeva Soft Definer 227 in the vegan range, I'm just going to be taking this kind of mustardy colour I guess and just popping it above my crease just as a really nice transition colour. Oh, that took a while to spin out. Next, I'm going to be taking this shade here and popping it right into my crease. And just blending it out. So to darken my crease a little bit more, I'm just going to be taking this shade here and adding it into my crease and softly blending it out. Now taking the same concealer, <coughs> I'm just going to mark out a cut crease. So now that I've marked that out, I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. Uh, uh, the Sun Dipped Glow Kit and I'm going to be taking the shade, shade Summer and I'm just taking my um, Zoeva Concealer Buffer 142 uh, it's a very dense really big brush so I'll be able to pick up a little bit more so I'm just going to take that highlighter and uh, rub my brush in there and pat it down onto where I just concealed It's nice and bright. Bright. Shame bright like a diamond. Next, I'm going to be taking from my dirty ass fucking pan. I'm going to be taking this shade here with a very thin fluffy brush. So what I'm going to be doing is just outlining above where I just put the concealer. So lightly running that over and then just slightly blending that all out very gently to try not to move any of the other eyeshadows as well as the concealer I look pretty fucking ridiculous right now but I'm just gonna add some mascara so I'm taking the volume shake stay clump free whatever the fuck that word is by Rimmel 
obviously. Give it a good fucking shake. With the big fat ass fucking wand. Okay, 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 check it, check it out. Okay, so I'm gonna be taking these really disgustingly reused lashes. So these are actually by Huda Beauty. I know that they're in a velour case, get over it. It's just because I lost my actual case. And they are, I'm pretty sure they're scarlet. So I'm just gonna quickly add some glue to them. I just wanna know what people's opinions are on eyelash applicators. Like the, not just like, not tweezers, but like actual like lash applicators that are angled. Like what do you, like do you guys think they work? Do you think they don't work? Like. I just want to know. Anyway, okay, so while I wait for my eyelashes to be to get tacky, to be tacky, I really are like email. Anyway, I'm going to add my Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, um, just to add a little bit of more glow underneath my foundation, and that's in the shade Opal. And while we are here, ladies and gentlemen, while we are here. So, my fucking bags are showing real bad, so I'm just gonna add some orange concealer. It's right underneath here. So they're just not so fucking obvious. And just taking my beauty blender and blending that out. One lash on, one lash on. It's amazing how it does like such a difference. Like it can just open your eyes up so much. Okay, so now my lashes are nicely stuck on, sort of. <laughs> I'm going to be mixing two foundations today. So I'm going to be mixing my Jason Moran Vibram C foundation in the shade Adventurous G55 and my Cover FX um, Natural Finish Oil Free Foundation in the shade G plus 50. So, I'm just gonna do a couple of squirts on the back of my hand. Just because I have become, I have become, I am tanned now, and I just found that the Josie Moran was more for when I was in winter and I was a little bit wider. And I'm just gonna use this random brush that I bought off Wish to mix it. It's a pretty good mixer, so I'm just gonna that put that there. Then taking my Zoeva buffer brush, um, blending it all out. I might take it off my hand as well. And then just taking my beauty blender to get rid of any streak lines and just like the residue of the foundation. Yeah, so my nose. Now that that's all nicely blended out, I'm going to be taking my NARS Creamy Concealer in the shade Medium 1 Custard and just popping that all underneath my eyes. So I do really like this concealer, it's very dewy. Um, it gives an okay coverage, I just wish it was something thicker um, just because I like to hide my freckles and it doesn't exactly hide it that well. Again, taking my Beauty Blender to blend it all out. So, for my contour today, I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Kit, uh, the medium shade, and I'm going to be taking my Face Curve 112 Zoeva brush to apply that. And just taking my Sophia, <laughs> Sephora. <laughs> Pro Contour Kabuki um, Contouring Brush and just blending that out. So I just find it's okay for my forehead. I find that I have to go in with my Beauty Blender just to um, fix up the lines because it is just a little bit too precise. Like, so I've got to kind of make it a bit more even. But then here I find it really good, like, blending it out and then I just blend up. So to create that really nice contoured line. It's going to take my NARS Creamy Concealer again. Just a couple dots here. Just 
there and taking my beauty blender to blend that all out just creating a cleaner line off my contour and then taking my real techniques domed shadow brush I just like pre blend out my nose I just found a brush like this you can get a little bit more control with it compared to like a sponge now time to bake my face so today I am using my good old let me just remember yes Dermacolor fixing powder and a little bit of baby powder as well just because I found it was a little bit too pink so the mixing with the baby powder just adds a little bit of lightness to it and it brightens a bit more on my eye so I'm just going to pat it down and so it's able to go oh fuck me so it's able to go right under my eyes and stop that creasing and then just under my contour as well and around my mouth just using the excess to pat it down a little bit I'm going to be taking my It Cosmetics um, Ombre Radiance Bronzer in Warm Radiance and I'm just going to bronze my forehead where I just contoured and I'm just going to contour under my jawline as well my chin, chin next taking my Zoeva Powder 2 up to 106 brush going to blend away that powder oh my nose I've got to contour my nose I've got to contour my nose oh my god oh my god oh my god this is the same brush that I use to blend my liquid or my cream powder my cream powder my cream contour and blending blending well wiping away uh, excess powder. Okay, so for my blush today, I'm going to be taking the Chi Chi Pink Peach Mosaic Blush. Mosaic. Mosaic. And I'm just going to be taking more of this half. Looks very natural. Okay, so for my highlighter today, I'm going to be taking the shade Tullum. Tourmaline, say so pronounce it. I thought it said Tullamarine, and that's a fucking like airport. Oops. Anyway, and I'm just going to pop that on with my um, Smashbox fan brush. Oh shit, Shaliqua. So now with my Zoeva smudging brush, I'm just going to be taking this mustard shade again and running that underneath my eye, along my lower lash line I should say. A little bit of that darker one as well. And then taking my e.l.f. eyeliner, I'm just going to add some to the outer corner on my eye and using the smudger brush to blend that out. So now that that's all done, I'm going to quickly set my face with the Slay All Day uh, Setting Spray by Gerard Cosmetics. And then I'm going to also set my face with the Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So I just quickly added some mascara and some lipstick. So the lipstick that I'm wearing today is the Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick by Maybelline. So it's really creamy. It does dry matte eventually. Um, but yeah, I really love it. Anyway, that's the end of my video, guys. Thank you so much. And thank you so much again for the 100 subscribers. I'm so thrilled. I'm so excited. Um, it is a big deal for me. Um, I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to me, liked my videos, commented on my videos, like it means so much to me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, um, as well as follow me on Instagram and Snapchat at Melanie Pepito. I'll see you guys soon! Bye!